The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter 10. In Ilio Tempore. At the time, Jesus entered into a certain village, and a woman named Martha received him into her house. And so on. Homily by Saint Austin, Bishop of Hippo. When the Holy Gospel was read, we heard how that a godly woman hospitably received the Lord into her house, and that this woman's name was Martha. And while Martha herself was cumbered about much serving, a sister of hers, called Mary, sat at the Lord's feet, and heard his word. The one worked, the other was idle. One ministered, the other was filled. Nevertheless, Martha, working hard in the bustle and business of the serving, came to the Lord and made complaint of her sister, because she would not help her in her work. But the Lord undertook to answer Martha from Mary. He, who had been called upon to be her judge, became her advocate. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. We have heard both the complaint, and the sentence of the judge, the which sentence replith to the complainant, and shaleth her whom the Lord had received. Mary was wrapped up in the sweetness of the word of the Lord. Martha was busied how to feed the Lord, and Mary, how to be fed by the Lord. Martha was getting ready a banquet for that same Lord, at whose banquet Mary was already reveling. When, then, Mary was listening in peace and gentleness to those words of unutterable sweetness, and being feasted to the full extent of her heart's power, and Martha came and complained of her to the Lord, how must we imagine that she feared, lest the Lord should say unto her, Arise, and help thy sister? She was held by that wondrous sweetness the smack whereof is felt more by the mind than by the belly. She was excused, and she sat all the safer. But on what grounds was she excused? Let us now turn our attention to this point, and thoroughly see into and examine it as far as we can, that we also may be fed. O Ramos! O Lord, we beseech thee, forgive the transgressions of thy servants, and, for as much as by our own deeds we cannot please thee, may we find safety through the prayers of the mother of thy Son and our Lord through the same our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.